All right, so today we're gonna do part three of the sub um, OM build and mechanical mod. Um, so please stick around and I'll see you there. All right, so what I'm doing right here is I'm showing the, the wire just turn the light on I think this was right after the light had had died and I had to go grab another light which is causing the screen to flicker I'm about ready to wrap a parallel coil at the moment Kind of sucks all the audio got lost because there was a ton of information in this video. doing four wraps so wrap one wrap two wrap three messed up and I bent the coil on the third wrap so I actually grab the needle nose pliers in the kit to uh, pull it taut as I'm wrapping it on the coil um, master that's causing all the fl flickering problems on the camera. I'm not sure why it was everything was blurry close up. I'm, I'm guessing the um, the GoPros don't like close ups. Showing the coil again here. I'm moving the camera over to go outside. Try to see if I can get a better view of the coil. It's still blurry for whatever reason, but you know, it's the best I could do in the situation.
walking back inside. Put the camera back down. I briefly walked away to go grab something. I don't remember what it was. Okay, I went to go grab the the cleaned RDA. Um, we're doing this on a Buddha V2. The outside posts are um, separate from the center post so you always want to have one leg of the coil on one center post and one leg of the coil on one of the outer posts it's kind of like positive and negative this is um, the second coil, the first coil is already done, that was the video two. Um, this is where I take the Phillips screwdriver and I slide it into the coil to um, hold it in place where I want it um, as I'm tightening the, the screws down. And I realized I needed the, the flat head I usually bend the coils get them in a higher position almost to the top of the of the post and I hold it as I tighten the screws down with the other screwdriver you can also do this with the coil master um, coil tool if you don't want to use the screwdriver and then what I do is I bend it after I tightened the post screws down I bend the coil and I put it in the position I want it and then I re-tighten it and then um, you also need to crop the, the legs off the coil when you have it seated So what I'm doing right here is tightening the screws to make sure that they're secure. What I'm doing now is I'm actually taking the screwdriver to adjust the coil exactly where I want it. And I'm showing a close-up of the legs and I'm explaining that you you're gonna need to reach around the other coil and you're gonna have to cut the legs off and I'm explaining it also has um, probably about a quarter inch deep well because this is a very deep RDA which is where I bring the flashlight in And I'm trying to get a good view of the coils and it's not working out very well. I'm snipping the, the leads off at the moment. one lead the other lead I'm actually reaching in behind the other coil snip those off I put
put it back in its um, breathing cage. I'm talking about I always leave the, the coils facing all of the ports. I want all the ports open because I like um, vaping with lots of um, breathability. This is where I'm getting the battery and putting the battery in the mechanical mod. I'm moving the switch down so I can use the functional button. I'm adjusting the screw that makes contact with the positive side of the battery. Screwing it on. Ended up taking it back off. Tighten the screw a little bit. And it's functioning now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pinch the coils. Um, as I'm heating them up so that they heat evenly and I'll be showing that You see the bottom coils actually kind of spread out pretty far I have to readjust it because it's not getting enough power So I push the screw out a little couple half a turn or maybe you know a full turn at the most I tested it which I didn't show on camera and then you can see the top coils heating up fast in one spot but not in the other spot which is why it's it's uneven so that's what we're doing right now is we're going to pinch the coil so it, e it evenly heats all the way through and then we'll move to the next coil after I'm done with the top coil. I reposition so it's easier for the camera to see. Still working on the top coil. And I mentioned that's uh, the one reason you're going to want to get ceramic tweezers. Now we're working on, the, it's now the top coil, but it is a, actually the bottom coil at the beginning. And what you want to do is you want to squeeze it, heat it up, squeeze it, and then hold the tweezers there and then let go of the button. And it should stiffen the coil. I'm going to do it again on the bottom coil in this scene. So I put the, the ceramic tweezers down so everything is done. You can see that they're evenly heating properly. The other thing you want to do while you're doing this, it helps the coils because you're varnishing the coils, you're getting heat through them, um, which will actually make the, the vape taste better. I state right here that I'm going to do the 18650 mechanical in a, in a separate video. If you guys want to see that, you can let me know picked up the drip tip and I'm putting it in the cover or the top portion of the RDA I'm explaining that the co uh, copper insert inside the mechanical mod um, should not be alarmed if it gets kind of warm because it's actually 
um, the ampage from the battery you're filling. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. And then I'm adjusting this bottom screw right here and I'm locking it down against the trigger which allows me to put the mechanical mod on a table without the trigger activating. this is about the end of the video this is going to be where um, in the next video where I'm going to be doing the the cotton and the dripping I'm going to prime the coils um, and I'll explain that in that video thank you for watching hey everybody so please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification icon um, and if you want to see future updates, go check out my Amazon affiliate links, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.